One question that I get occasionally is how does sunscreen prevent wrinkles? Did you know that wearing sunscreen every day can prevent wrinkles and may even reverse some signs of photo aging? But how exactly does this work? Hi, I'm Brandon, an anti-aging enthusiast just like you, bringing to you anti-aging research, tips, and vlogs every single week. If anti-aging topics are of interest to you, please consider subscribing down below. I would love to share this space with you. And please hit that like button down below as well. That really helps out my channel and I appreciate it a lot. Both intrinsic and extrinsic factors in the environment control contribute to skin aging. The sun is an extrinsic factor of skin aging that is a key driver of skin aging outside of our bodies in the environment. Luckily, exposure to the sun and the main factors driving skin aging is largely modifiable, meaning that we have some level of control and we may be able to prevent a good deal of damage to our bodies and to our skin. Photo aging is the term commonly used to describe aging associated changes to the skin associated with light and UV exposure from the sun predominantly. Here's a picture I drew of the sun. As you can see, I did not excel at art class. Here's the UV rays. The research suggests that 80%, maybe even up to 90% of the visible signs of skin aging is attributable to sun exposure. And this is largely associated with UV, ultraviolet radiation. But what is sunscreen specifically? And how does it prevent photo aging or skin aging? I also drew a sunscreen box. I think that's pretty good. Sunscreen is an FDA regulated anti-aging tool that is largely underutilized in today's society. Technically, sunscreen is used to prevent skin cancer, melanoma associated with sun damage, but research over the past decades show that it's also powerful for anti-aging and reversing and preventing photo aging. Sunscreen can be classified into three main types. There is organic, meaning these sunscreens contain chemical filters that absorb UV rays. There's also physical or inorganic, which is mainly comprised of mineral filters like zinc oxide, titanium dioxide. These are also classified as chemicals, but a lot of natural sunscreens contain these mineral compounds. There's also a combination and hybrid sunscreens. These are a combination or a mix of both chemical and mineral filters. Sunscreen works by blocking or absorbing harmful UV rays in the environment, protecting your skin from that UV radiation that leads to premature skin aging. These rays of radiation are classified predominantly as UVA and UVB, ultraviolet radiation A and UVB. While UVB is a primary driver of sunburn, meaning it causes burns to the skin when exposed for prolonged periods of time, it also leads to DNA damage and can drive some aspects of skin aging. UVB can have effects on collagen as well as inducing free radical damage to the skin. UVA is the primary established driver of skin aging, leading to the production of enzymes known as MPs or matrix metalloproteinases, these are enzymes in the skin that are activated by UV, by visible light, by pollution in the environment, and these enzymes drive the destruction of collagen, thus leading to skin aging. Ultimately, when your skin is exposed to UVA as well as UVB and to some extent the visible light and blue light from the sun and our devices, it can break down collagen and elastin, which are essential for keeping your skin smooth and young. Over time, this results in the formation of wrinkles and fine lines. You can know how powerful your sunscreen is by looking at the SPF or the sun protection factor. This will actually just show you how powerful your sunscreen is at protecting against a burn against UVB. SPF 30 protects from approximately 97% of UVB and higher SPF levels lend to higher levels of protection. But this is only if you're applying enough sunscreen. Now SPF only tells you the protection you have against UVB and not UVA, which is the primary driver of skin aging. Many European and Asian sunscreens contain a rating system, a PA rating system, and this shows you the protection you have against UVA. For this, I tend to choose European and Asian sunscreens with a PA of 4 plus. That gives you the maximum UVA protection. In addition, blue light, visible light may increase the oxidation and inflammation in the skin, which also drives skin aging to some degree. Some sunscreens like tinted mineral sunscreens, these tinted mineral sunscreens may protect against the damaging effects and the aging effects of blue light and visible light. They do protect against hyperpigmentation, which is also a common concern for aging skin, but that iron oxide that pigment in the tinted mineral sunscreens may block and absorb the harmful effects of the visible light. So how much sunscreen do you need? For ultimate anti-aging protection, I generally go for an SPF of 50 plus and a PA rating of four plus. However, just because you choose a high SPF and PA rating doesn't mean you're actually reaching that rating. Many people under apply, significantly under apply sunscreen and do not reach the SPF and the PA rating on the label. Typically sunscreens are rigorously tested 
tested at a thickness of approximately two milligrams per square centimeter of skin. This equates to about a quarter of a teaspoon, one fourth of a teaspoon of sunscreen for the face, a quarter of a teaspoon of sunscreen for the neck. These are the primary areas in which our skin is exposed to UV on a fairly daily basis. And these are also the main areas where the visible signs of aging show initially. For the entire body, about an ounce, one ounce of sunscreen is needed. This equates to approximately one shot glass of sunscreen for the entire body, including the face and the neck. By applying sunscreen regularly on a regular basis, a daily basis, you can protect your skin from the damaging effects of not only UV, UVA, and UVB, but potentially even blue light and visible light. Make sure you're choosing a broad spectrum sunscreen. Most sunscreens are broad spectrum of an SPF of at least 30. And if you can find a sunscreen with a PA rating, try to choose a PA rating of three or four plus. And there you go. That's how sunscreen protects against wrinkles. This is a powerful anti-aging tool that is widely underutilized. Let me know down below how sunscreen and applying sunscreen has changed your skin. Thanks so much for watching. Please like this video if you found it helpful and please consider subscribing so you can see more anti-aging videos like this one every single week. And until next time, have a good one. Bye.